how to look stylish in a hurry. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. How many of you on a regular basis feel like this? Like you're barely keeping your head above the water. You're treading water because you have so many things going on, whether it's the kids, the husband, the house, the job, the groceries, the cooking, the meal planning, the clothes you gotta order, the camps, the extracurriculars. It can feel like you just can barely breathe some days. I get intense anxiety sometimes because I feel like my to-do list is so long, there's no way I'm ever I'm ever gonna get anything done. And sometimes I just bust out into, into tears to my husband and say, I don't I don't know how I'm gonna manage this. And you know, he always is so great at calming me down and talking me uh, out of the anxiety. But why am I talking about this? Because I feel like most of us are in this position. We are very pressed for time. So I wanted to share some of the things that you can do uh, that will help you get out the door quicker. Don't wash your hair every day. If you wash it every day, that's gonna take so much time out of your day to dry it, style it, the whole thing. What I typically do is I'll wash it every three days. And when I do wash it, I usually wash it at night and then I let it air dry while I'm sleeping and that saves me some time. But in the morning when you wanna shower off, but you don't wanna wash your hair, hop in the shower with your shower cap, pop out of the shower, and then you use a crap ton of dry shampoo. I use the Dove dry shampoo by the bucket load. I should buy stock in the company because I use so much of that dry shampoo. I've tried all the other brands and I really, really, truly love this brand. I think it's the best. It also works really well when you just wanna add some volume to your hair if it's a little bit flat. Um, but when your hair is looking dirty or dingy, I've even done it like after a run or after working out, ew, I know. But sometimes that's the reality and I know that you probably have done that too. So you just spray the root and you spray the sides really well and you brush it out and then all of a sudden your hair looks clean and nice and ready. You're ready to start that day with that hair. <laughs> the next thing to think about is what the heck to do to your hair now that it doesn't look greasy or like you just went for a run, what do you do with it? So I did do a video featuring five really quick hairstyles that I use quite often. I will put a link to that below. But essentially you could do, you just have a couple at the ready that you know, okay, I can do this. And on those days I'm in a hurry. Sometimes I do half up, sometimes I do a ponytail. It just depends what I'm wearing and how I'm feeling. And, uh, but those hairdos are all like minutes. It takes minutes to execute. So you gotta have at least one of those ready to go. The next thing um, you know you sort of think about simultaneously is what are you wearing? And part of that might be, oh shoot, I wanna wear that strappy cami, but I know it's looking a little bit wrinkly and I don't have time to iron it and I don't have time to steam it. So before you hop into the shower to rinse off, just hang that cami up on a hanger, hang it right outside the shower door, hang it inside the shower if you have the space, make sure you shut your bathroom door and sort of give it a shower steam. So it will be less wrinkled. Uh, will it be perfect? Probably not, but in 10 minutes, we're not looking for perfection. We're looking for getting you out the door, looking pulled together, on time. The next thing that I would definitely use as a go-to is a bold lip. Um, when you have a bold lip, it just, it looks like, okay, you really took some time to put yourself together. And we know the reality, you did not. But when you put on a nice bold lip, people will think that you look like you, you put a lot of time and effort into it. So it doesn't have to be a bright red lip. It can be a beautiful pink lip or a be beautiful burgundy lip if it's fall. Um, whatever you know speaks to you, but if you take a little time, do a nice bold lip, that is going to make a difference with your overall look.
you're gonna wanna grab one accessory, one impactful accessory, whatever that is, whether it's a choker or a ring or a cuff, a long pendant necklace, whatever it is, just grab one accessory so the outfit looks pulled together. So it doesn't really matter what you're wearing, it could be jeans and a t-shirt, but if you've got the one accessory, it's gonna, it's gonna tie it together. So that's an important thing to remember, no matter what kind of hurry you're in, grab that one accessory. The next thing I wanna talk about is a little bit more about your outfit choice. And I think, and I've mentioned this in another video, it's very important to have that go-to outfit. If you're struggling to know what your go-to outfit is or how to identify your go-to outfit or your signature style, I will put a link to that video below because I did like seven tips to help you find that. So you've got your uniform. For me, it's skinny jeans, heels, um, a tee or a tank or a cami, and a blazer and the blazer can take different forms. Like it could be a moto jacket, it could be a sleeveless jacket, it could be um, any kind of like third layer basically. But that's my uniform, that's my style uniform. And when I don't know what the heck to wear, that is what I grab out of the closet. So you need to have one of those because again, on those days when you don't have a lot of time, you need to have that outfit in your mind, at the ready, ready to throw on your body so you can run out the door. The next thing I would say is to think about your shoes. Uh, you know, not all of us can wear heels. If you can wear heels, that definitely takes your whole look up a notch and elevates it. If you can't wear heels, a great po pointy toe flat or beautiful sandal will do the trick. A really cool pair of flat booties. Think of your shoes as an opportunity to elevate that look. Next up are sunglasses. This is so key, especially for us as we get older. And like, let's say you only did your lip and maybe your little um, 30 second eyebrow. You don't have any eye makeup on. So put the sunglasses on. All of a sudden you look like a Hollywood movie star. Nobody knows you have no eye makeup on and then it took you 10 minutes to get ready. You've got that beautiful lip, the sunglasses, the brows are good you're good, like the sunglasses are everything. So of course that's not going to solve your problem if you have a business meeting or something like that. But I, again, on those days where you're just running and gunning and you have an appointment, maybe it's a doctor's appointment, maybe you gotta pick kids up from somewhere um, and you don't necessarily need to have a full face of makeup, throw on those sunglasses. You know, the more glamorous and cool and modern the sunglasses, the better your look is going to be. The next tip is for those of you who change your bag regularly. So let's say you're wearing your white jeans and your lavender t-shirt and you're like, I can't carry the black bag with that because it's just gonna bring the whole outfit down. Damn it, but I don't have time to change all the crap. This is where you need the bag within the bag concept. I love my Henry Bendel wallet because my Henry Bendel wallet has the wristlet, which is the strap I can pull up and take it out of the bag. It also has the iPhone pocket, it has the lipstick pocket, it has all the pockets for my cards and money and everything. So everything I need is right in the wallet. So I just put it into the bag I'm gonna use, take it out, put it into the next bag I'm gonna use. It makes it very quick, simple, easy. And I just know like I have everything as long as that wallet is in my bag. The last tip is when you're in this big hurry and you've had a rough morning and you got into a fight with your husband and your kids were just not doing what you asked them to do and you wanted to tear your hair out and it was rough and you barely had time to drink your coffee, you didn't get to go to the bathroom, like you, you, everything went wrong that morning. If you go out into the world and you project that, it's gonna affect your day. So when you step out the door, I always tell my kids like when they're having a bad day, like let's put up the magic force field and they walk through it. Vroom. And once they walk through it, all that goes away. Now, I, I wish that this were true all the time. The magic force field was a real thing, but just mentally put it up at your door, 
and then when you step out the door, you're gonna leave all of that crap behind you and you're gonna step out the door and then immediately have a smile on your face, be happy. You know, people ask you how you are, you say great, you don't say, oh, my morning was so bad and oh, my husband is driving me crazy and my kids are just like little brats and I can't take it anymore, ah! No one wants to hear that. Fake it till you make it, essentially. <laughs> but the more you smile and the more confidence you have, it doesn't matter how quickly you got ready, um, you're going to look better, more stylish, happier, more joyful, and more confident. Keep this list handy right up here, and it should help, I think. It helps me a whole bunch, and I think it'll help you a whole bunch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do let me know if you have any questions. I'll put the links to the videos that I talked about below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, over on the website, busbystyle.com, completely different content over there. When you subscribe to my email newsletter over there, you're on my exclusive list, you get all kinds of freebies, and you get a recap of what I po posted on the blog that week. So it's just one email a week, full recap, lots of ideas. I think it's worthwhile for you guys to, to sign up for that. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.